article below represents a model of a solid structure in the shape of a frustum of a cone with a hemispherical top. The diameter of the hemispherical part is 70 cm and is equal to the diameter of the top of a frustum. The frustum has a base diameter of 28 cm and a slant height of 60 cm. So calculate A, the, surface, uh, the area of the hemispherical surface, B, the total surface area of the model. So let's begin with um, the first part, and that is the area, the area of the hemisphere, of the hemispherical top. To obtain the area of the hemisphere, we obtain it by area is equals to 2 pi r squared. This is the formula of calculating the area of a hemisphere, 2 pi r squared. And when you proceed and work out to substitute the value, you're going to use our pi as 22 over 7. So 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius is 35 times 35. And when you work out these, you multiply out these, you obtain this one will be 7700 centimeters squared. That is what you get. So let's proceed to the second part of the question. In the second part of the question, we are required to calculate the total surface area, total surface area of this model. This model is composed of three surfaces. The first one is the hemisphere. That is the hemisphere. Then there is the frustum of a cone. And then there is the circular bottom. Circular bottom. So we need to add the area of the three of these in order to obtain the total surface area of the model. We have already obtained the area of the hemisphere. So let's proceed and calculate the area of the frustum. The area of the frustum. So for this one, we have to do a sketching again. We have to sketch this one once again. So let's sketch. So let us sketch uh, these uh, first term again. We shall have something like that. Then. Um, you can draw line there then you can draw another one there uh, this is the first term and the diameter as you can see the diameter is 70 centimeter the bottom is 28 centimeter so we can complete we can complete uh, this one from the cone that it was obtained Initially, it was like this. This is how it was. Um, let me draw it properly. So that was the original cone from which this first term was obtained. We have just completed, but this is our interest. This part is what we require. But we have just completed this one to make a full cone in order to be able to calculate the missing measurements. So this one is given as 60. So we can call this one uh, the whole of this length, uh, that is the slant height of the bigger cone. That is the bigger cone. Sorry. And that one is, um, we can call it L. Therefore, from this, uh, this length will be, this one will be given by L minus 60 because of this distance. So having this, we can use similarity to obtain the value of L. And this is how we're going to obtain it. L will be obtained by, so the slant height of the bigger cone divided by the slant height of the smaller cone which is l minus 60 is equals to uh, the ratio of the radius of the bigger cone but the radius of the smaller cone and we can substitute these values we have l 
L minus 60 is equal to radius which is 35 and uh, the bottom the radius is 14. So we can um, proceed We cross multiply, we can cross multiply this to get L times L times 14, we get 14L is equals to uh, 35 uh, multiplied by L minus 60. So when we multiply this, you get 14L is equals to 35L minus that 5 times 60 you get 2100 so when you work out this you obtain that um, 21L is equals to 2100 and therefore L will be given by 100 centimeter so we obtain L is 100 so this one is 100 centimeter and this one will be given by 40 L minus this one will be 40 centimeter now we can proceed and get the surface area therefore the surface area the surface area of the frustum the frustum will be given by the formula pi r l so to obtain these are uh, the surface area of this frustum we are going to get the surface area of the bigger cone minus the surface area of the smaller cone and you'll be left with this frustum so the surface area of the bigger cone will be given by 22 over 7 that is pi times r radius of the bigger cone which is 35 times the slant height of the bigger cone which is 100 subtract the surface area of the smaller cone which is 22 over 7 pi times radius of the smaller cone is 14 times the slant height of the smaller cone which is 40 this one will give us the surface area of the frustum. So when you multiply this one, we are going to get this one as 11,000 uh, centimeters squared minus 17. This one will give us 1760 centimeters squared. And when we work out that, we'll get uh, 9240 40 centimeters squared as our well. That one will be the area of the first term. So we have already obtained that. So what is remaining is now the circular, uh, the area of the circular base. So area of the base. And the base is in the shape of a circle, which will be given by pi r squared. And this one will be 22 over 7 times uh, radius which is uh, the radius is 14 times 14 and this one when you work it out you will give us 616 centimeters squared so that is um, we have now obtained uh, the surface area of each and every uh, shape that we have been given there so therefore the total total surface area total surface area will therefore be given by the area of the hemisphere which is 7700 centimeter squared plus uh, the first term which you obtain is 9240 centimeter squared plus the area of the circular base which is 16 616 centimeter squared and this one will give us 17 uh, 17,556 centimeters squared. So that is how you're supposed to work out that question.